What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a booster energy Roar Moon team that also features Life Orb Sandy Shocks. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we're using Roar Moon. You guys have seen them plenty of times, but also with Sandy Shocks. The Sandy Shocks is a top tier special attacker. Give it the Life Orb like we have, and this thing's going to be able to one tap Pokemon left and right. But first Pokemon we are rocking with for today's team preview is going to be the one and only Sylveon. Sylveon's stats are great all around. Great special attacker with decent bulk. This one has Pick Slate and the Throat Spray as its item. Hyper Voice, Terror Blast, Substitute, and Protect. Can't really go wrong with this moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be that Roaring Moon. Love this Pokemon's design, love it on the rank ladder. It's got Protosynthesis and a boost of energy like we already mentioned as its item. Then it's got Throat Chop, Acrobatics, Tailwind, and Protect. Arcanine is going to be our third part Pokemon, and if you guys have been watching my content, you guys know I love this Arcanine build. Intimidate with Snarl and will o Mwah. It doesn't get as much better than that, right? You can drop Special Attack with Snarl, you can drop Physical Attack with the Intimidates and burning those Physical uh, Attacking Pokemon. It's really, really big, so Arcanine can definitely come in clutch and come in most battles with this team. It's got Safety Goggles, and then its other two moves are going to consist of Flare Blitz and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Mousehold, and if you watched my last video, we had Population Bomb Mousehold absolutely tearing the rank ladder, but this one is just mainly support. It's got the Fang Guard, it's Rocket Stitch Berry, then it's got Super Fang, Follow Me, Taunt, and Protect. Like I said, mainly just there for support, we're not going to be pop bombing with him today. Sandy Shocks is going to be our fifth Pokemon, top tier special attacker in Series 2. It's got Protosynthesis, the Life Orb as its item, and then it's got Earth Power, Thunderbolt, Terra Blast, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. We got King Gambo over here. Love the Gambo. So good all around. Love its typing with the Dark and Seal. This one has Defiant and the Assault Vest as item. And then Kaltau Cleave, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, and Brick Break for its four moves. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Life Orb Sandy Shocks team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a Don Dozo team without its little buddy Tatsugiri. But the main combo here is going to be that Orthworm and Garchomp combo. So we can go in the Garchomp, Orthworm, heal up the Orthworm with uh, any ground moves such as EQ and kind of just thrive out with the battle that way. They also have Talonflame, Orangaroo to pop Trick Room, and then Iron Valiant for its final Pokemon. I don't really see them bringing Orangaroo, right? I really don't see that happening. But I do see them leading Talonflame, right? Talonflame could definitely be an easy lead. We could go into Intimidate and start burning some physical attackers, such as Garchomp. But I don't know who they're going to lead. Don't those are, could be that Pokemon. But it could have Water Bell. It could definitely have Water Bell. But who should I play here? Sandy Shocks isn't bad here. I kind of can get down with Sandy Shocks here. I could definitely get down with Sandy Shocks. I mean, they do have two, or actually only one ground type Pokemon. Earthworm Solid Steel. So I'm going to lead Sandy Shocks. Sandy Shock's going to come out here for me. I am going to also lead a Pokemon like Roar Moon. Go just double down with that so we can match the Tailwind if need be. Yeah. Them two, Sylveon's going to be solid. And then last but not least, I'm going to bring Arcanine. It's either Arcanine or Gambo, right? Arcanine or Gambi. And I'm kind of leaning towards Arcanine. Oh, dude, Gambit's solid, though. I'm going to go Gambit. I am going to go Gambit. I just love Gambit. So versatile with that Soul Fest. Could be really, really good for us. Especially if the last Pokemon is Don Dozo. We need something to at least have a shot with it. Like Arcanine just gets ripped by it all day. Just gets absolutely ripped by it. And then a lot of the times when Don Dozo is alone, its ability is usually Water Bell, so it can't be burned. So trying to go for a will o on Don Dozo with Water Bell, just not the play. It's not the play. It is not the play. But our opponent's going to end up leading the Garchomp and Iron Valiant, which I don't really mind here. I don't really mind here. One, we should outspeed, first of all. Pro Synthesis is going to pop. We can start getting after this. So, I mean, he could hard swap into... He could hard swap into Earthworm here. I might just Earth Power you, right? I might just Earth Power you. I mean, it's the same thing. I'm just going to Earth Power you down. And I could Terrasalize into Straight Flying. It just Acrobatics you down. I could also set up a Tailwind. I think I do want to actually go straight into... Straight into Terrasalization. What's your speed? What is your speed, kind sir? 183. Do you outspeed a Valiant? Pretty sure you might. Let's set up a Tailwind. I'm just going to Terrasalize and Tailwind. That's exactly what I'm going to do. 
to rationalize and tailwind. We'll see what our opponent wants to do. He might end up swapping the Iron Valiant. I'm hoping he just ends up like protecting one of these turns and like, set up a free Talon and just guarantee a speed control here. But Earth Power should still do a nice chunk of damage over onto Sandy Shocks. Or well, not Sandy Shocks, over into the Iron Valiant. And we should be doing pretty good. But I think he does, he might swap here, right? Garchomp just protects. It's that's big time for us. We'll take that all day. So we terrestrialize here just to dodge like a Moonblast. We would have outsped anyway. We could just kind of acrobats and KO'd. Now we go for a nice level of Earth Power. How much damage are we chipping? Oh my god, Sandy Shocks, chill on him. Too much damage, Sandy Shocks. Like I said, Life Orb Sandy Shocks and really rip into our opponents. Special Defense is going to drop down. It don't really matter. We're going to lose some HP, and a Gleam's going to fly here. Don't mind the Gleam. Do not mind the Gleam. That's exactly why we Terrasalize. Okay, so from here, I could Earth Power in case you want to swap, but I don't really see you swapping. But I'm still going to do it. I'm going to Earth Power that. And I'm just going to Acrobatics this slot, right? We have Booster Energy down. We have Flying Tire ready to roll. We hard swap into Earthworm here. We have an Earth Power coming out here. So I really like it. Hot start from us. That's really all that I kind of wanted in turn one. I was hoping one of their Pokemon would protect. And Garchomp took the protect. We got off our free Tailwind. And now we got some nice speed control. And now it's all attack. It's all about attack with these two. Wide Guard going to come out here for... I do not know why. Makes no sense. I think he just wanted to use it just to use it. But... Acrobatics gonna fly. He just wasted a turn with Wide Guard. Acrobatics is going to chunk up some nice damage here. And Rough Skin's gonna chip me up. So he's probably going for a Rock Slide here. Earth Power's gonna take out the Valiant. And we're gonna go from there. So I'm hoping at least one of my Pokemon survive this. If you go for a Rock Slide, we're gonna hope that the War Moon can dodge it. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. We shall see. There's gonna be an EQ. So EQ's gonna take out Sandy Shocks. We knew that. But Sandy Shocks, go. Sandy Shock's gone, War Moon, it does not affect them, and I can get down with that. I can get down with that. Now, the, our only problem is going to be Orthworm. Orthworm is a problem. I mean, we have you for Defiant. Sylveon's going to be solid here. And I think we just go into Sylveon here, right? I could Water Terrasalize. Actually, I can't. I already Terrasalize. But our Gambit might have to be the one to 1v1 this Orthworm. Might Defense Bulk, too. Hopefully, he just doesn't have it, right? Dantozo comes out here. It's a problem. Dantozo, a little bit of a problem. We're going to Hyper Voice across the board. And I think I just Acrobat Sound, right? Just keep going after Dantozo. Because even if Garchomp Terrasalizes here, we still pick up some big time damage and potentially KO. And now our throat, our throat spray is popping here. So Acrobat's going to fly here. I'm liking this. Chunking up some nice damage. We got to get rid of this Dantozo. Thing's a problem. Thing is a problem. Hyper Voice is now going to fly. How much damage are we doing to this? That's some lovely damage. So Hyper Voice KOs Don Dozo. Unless it terrestrializes, right? Unless it terrestrializes. I feel like someone has to terrestrialize. And Wave Crash is going to fly here. That might KO you. We're dead. That might KO you. Recoil damage might KO. And if he doesn't have Orthworm, I really like where we're sitting. Because we have another turn left in Tailwind, I believe. Does that KO the Don Dozo? I would really like it to. It does not. It does not. But it's okay. We have speed. We're KOing that thing all day. So our opponent, I believe, still has Terra, right? I believe they still have Terra. This is a great match. King Gambit's gonna fly out here now, and we can Sucker Punch. I mean, Hyper Voice, Sucker Punch, probably our play, right? Probably our play. Yeah, they still have Terrasalization. I'm just gonna Sucker Punch you down and just Hyper Voice across the board. I like it, I dig it. Orthworm would have been a problem. I'm trying to think who his final Pokemon could be, right? It's got to be Orthworm. I feel like it's got to be the Worm. He just hasn't brought it out yet. God dang Worm. It's got to be that Wormy Worm. An Alaskan Bull Worm. <laughs> Garchomp goes for Double Protect. It's found. Don does. Are you protecting here? Yeah, he goes for Double Protecting. Sylveon's just going to KO. Sucker Punch means nothing. Um, I can go after Don does the next turn with Sucker Punch. And I think Sucker Punch has a chance to KO him. I know Sylveon outspeeds the Dondozo, right? Dondozo's rather slow without that little Tatsugiri plus two. But every voice flies, we say bye bye to you. And now, who is your final Pokemon? I've been curious about this the whole time. I don't think it's Talonflame. You would have brought out Talonflame years ago. I think it's Earthworm, and you just haven't brought it out yet. Let's see. There goes my Tailwind. It's gone. I do have Brick Break for Earthworm, so I'm kind of hoping it is him. But we'll see. It's Orangaroo. 
Very odd. Very, very odd. Hyper Voice can come out here. And now we just count out cleave this thing. We don't want to set up a trick room, right? We really do not want that. A Rankaroo is the fi That's weird, right? That's weird. That's very weird. That is very weird. And a Rankaroo in the back end. I just don't see any value in that, right? You definitely should have brought in a different Pokemon here. Hyper Voice is now going to fly. It's going to take out the Don Dozo. Caltech Cleave is going to say no problem. Get rid of this Rangaroo. And it's game set match. No problem. No problem. Caltech Cleave coming in hot there. And there it is. 1 0 to get us started. Killed it in match number one. Sandy Shocks from Moon got that lead. And then Sylveon and King Gambit came in the back end, cleaned up the mess. Second match coming at you guys. And we're going up against a tough squad. First match went perfectly. We grabbed ourselves a dub. But we're going up against a great Tusk team alongside Fluttermane, Iron Bundles, so with three top tier Paradox Pokemon. Then they got Weather Control with Titar, Amoongus, who was amazing with support, and then Talonflame for Speed Control. Again, this one's going to be tough. Hopefully, we can get after this one and grab ourselves a victory here in match number two. But who should I lead here? Who should I lead and how should I play it? We got Sandy Shocks, who's not too bad. I kind of like Sandy Shocks here. The only problem would be the Don Fan. Don, Don Fan could definitely rip into it. But uh, yeah, I don't mind Sandy Shocks. I also like Tal or not Talon Flame. Warm Moon for Speed Control. Warm Moon could definitely be good. We could throw some burns with Arcanine if need be. I do like that as well. But again, Arcanine kind of gets ripped on by three Pokemon. So I don't really want to bring it because of that instance. But Warm Moon's going to be our lead. I could also lead the Gambit, which I kind of like. I mean, Sucker Punch is going to be good for us. I like it all around. So I'm going to go Gambit. I am going to go Warm Moon. I'm going to bring Sandy Shocks. And then I think Sylveon just gets some work done here, right? Sylveon's solid. I can get that one Sylveon. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number two and go back to back for you guys. But I wonder who they're going to lead. Again, a lot of different options. They have the Paradox Pokemon. They got T-Tar. They got Talonflame. I would think Talonflame would come out here for the lead. If not, we could pretty much take Speed Control and just go from there. But I, I do think Talonflame comes out here and just pops a Tailwind or even goes for a Fire Move straight into my Gambo, right? Which I could Terrasize my Gambo. I could definitely do that. We're going to see Talonflame and Donphan come out here. So, I mean, he can freely EQ, which is a little scary, right? It's definitely a little scary. Hmm. What is my play here? I could protect the Gambit. And get off Tailwind and match it. Which I think should be my play. Ooh, I do not have... Ooh. That kind of hurts. Ooh, that kind of hurts. That really hurts. Because Don Fan's just a problem. Don Fan is a problem. I mean, we could Terrasize and hit it. Double down into it, maybe? Ah, it's real tough. Because you're Fire Terra. I might go all the way back and Terrasalize you, right? Yeah, we're going to Terrasalize. We're going to Sucker Punch this thing as well. We might even Terrasalize. Let's see. We're Terrasalizing first here. I'm hoping this Acrobatics just rips into this thing, right? But Don Fan's a problem. It's definitely a problem. I was going to Terrasalize and do this, uh, match his speed control, but I really want to protect my Gambit, but we don't have Protect considering we're Assault Vested. And then swapping just doesn't make sense to me right now. And there's the Terrasalization. So he's going to tear us straight into ground, right? Straight to ground. And this is just a free EQ. So he's going to get rid of my, my Gambit, no problem. So Gambit's gone. He's going to get up Tailwind. Um, from here, we can bring out this, this Sandy Shocks, which is a bad. There's Tailwind. Yeah, Tailwind EQ. Gambit's going to be able to just get off a Sucker Punch. I mean, that's alright. We can deal with that. A little bit of damage here. And Headlong. Oh, we go for a Headlong Rush. Okay. I mean, pretty much the same thing. EQ would have taken us out regardless. But we'll take that. He'll, he'll take a Defense Drop. And we're going to see how much damage his Acrobatics can do. How much damage are we doing with this? We do have Sylveon in the back end, which is a bad. And Acrobatics going to fly now. So if we can pick up KO, I would count this turn as pretty good for us. And we don't pick up the KO. Come on now. No KO. Sylveon's got to be your play. Sylveon's got to be your play. Why does it already say I'm like Terrasalized? Terra Blast has water next to it now. That's kind of funny. Alright, so we're going to go into Sylveon here. Obviously, we just want to go for... I might need Protect here. I might just Protect Sylveon and go for a Tailwind. Just so I can get some speed. I think that's my play. Protect Tailwind. Get it off now. I actually like getting off Tailwind second, right? It's always good because then you get that last turn faster than your opponent. So will o -Wisp comes out. Oh, come on with that. That ain't cool. That ain't right. That ain't right one bit. 
burned me? How dare you? You burned me. Headlong rush does come through, and this is exactly why we why we need to get some tailwind speed up in here. Exactly why we need to get tailwind speed. Okay, so now we're sitting here with a burned a burned moon. It's no good. That's not good one bit. And from here, we just want to pop throat spray, right? And I can throw a chop. Acrobatics could be to play. What other Pokemon do you have in the back end? Because could you swap? I mean, you could. But I don't see you swapping, right? Acrobatics going to come out here from us. I'm going to play that. And I'm just going to Hyper Voice. I'm going to pop my throat spray. We can get after it that way. So Quick Guard comes out here. What do you think? I'm using Quick Attack? That's fine. That's totally fine. So we get off a free Hyper Voice. And we get off a free throat spray pop. So that's actually a pretty big turn from us. Goes for the Quick Guard. A lot of Sylveons have not been rocking a... Uh, Quick attack, right? Like, I haven't seen it, at least. Now I get off my free Hyper Voice. Chunking up some nice damage. Not very effective. The next one should KO, though, with this plus one. It should KO. It should KO. That's some nice damage on the Talon Flame. So now we got Sylveon chilling here. And Sylveon's getting some work done. Sylveon is getting some work done. So out is going to come the Deli Deli Burn. Big time problem, but we'll deal with it. He's probably just going to freeze drive me down, but I still like Hyper Voice here. I still really like Hyper Voice. Speed's going to be boosted. Could go for Icy Wind. I am just going to go for the Acrobatics in this thing. And then Hyper Voice again. Give me no reason not to. I could protect him. I probably should have protected War Moon there. So Icy Wind is now going to fly. He's going to slow me down a little bit. That's fine. War Moon does pretty solid. You already have speed up against both my Pokemon. So it's no problem. It is no problem here. Raper coming in hot here. He going after. You gotta take out my War Moon. That's totally fine. You take recoil damage. We're gonna get rid of Talon Flame. We're gonna do some nice damage over onto uh onto the bundle. And then it comes down to pretty much a 2v2. Nice little 2v2. Hyper Voice flying here. Oh my god, Sylveon! Getting the crit on the bundle. Sylveon. Mwah, I love you. I love Sylveon. So good and competitive. So good and competitive. Even without that crit, I still feel like we're sitting in a solid spot. Because their tailwind would have ended there and we would have had speed. And plus, we have this little guy right here. Actually, this little guy wouldn't have paired up too well, right? I mean, with tailwind, yeah, we would have... I think we would have outspeed at Delibird. Actually, Delibird could have outsped us. Or just protected that turn. But still, I, th I think we would have been thriving here. Fluttermane is going to be the final Pokemon. And it's pretty much game, set, match. We're going to Thunderbolt into you. Hyper Voice has no effect. Well, because it's normal. But then it changes into fairy, so we're thriving here. Thunderbolt's gonna do a lot of damage anyway. The Thunderbolt comes out there, puts it down to half HP, and it's game set match. Gleam's gonna fly, both my Pokemon eat that. Get it on out of here. Hyper Voice will pick up the KO, no problem. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 2 and 0. We are killing it on the rank ladder right now. Let's hop to a third, look for that perfect record. Third and final match coming at you guys. It's time to grab ourselves a perfect record, but this one's gonna be a tough one, right? Going up against a hard Trick Room team with Hatterene, Intiti, Armors, Torkoal, King Gambit, and Annihilate. Like I said, this one's tough. This one is definitely really tough, and I'm trying to think of a way to kind of get around it, because Intiti, Armors can really just start getting after my team. We have the Roar Moon, we do have the uh, Gambit, which are two very solid leads here, right? They're two very solid leads, and I think I'm just going to fly with that, right? Going with the Moon, going with the Gambit, get rocking out with that. Sandy Shock's got to be a back-end Pokemon, and then last but not least... I can get down with Sylveon. I mean, I don't really like Arcanine here, right? I don't really like Arcanine. I mean, Arcanine's not bad with the Snarls. It's not too bad with the Snarls. But do we want to go into... We could actually lead Arcanine. Instead of Roaring Moon. What would I rather do? We can't Sucker Punch with Gambit. We could definitely count out Cleave. Would I rather have Arcanine? I think I'd rather have Sylveon over Arcanine, especially for more so back end. I mean, actually, no. Arcanine's solid. Looking at Arcanine Snarl is super effective onto a few. We have the Flare Blitz. I'm liking Arcanine. Let's go back in Arcanine, even though Sylveon was killing it in the first two matches. Even though Sylveon was doing it, we got to bring Arcanine here. It just seems like the play, right? Definitely seems like the play, because Arcanine could be solid up against uh, Indeedee Arm Rouge as well. It could soak up the shots. It could drop Snarls, drop that special attack, and really get after the match that way. But we'll see who our opponent wants to end up leading. Somebody's going to want to pop a Trick Room, and it's going to be Indeedee and Annihilate. Little bit of a problem. Because we do not like that. But I feel like we just have to double down into Indeedee, right? I think we just have to double down into Indeedee. I think a Gambit comes out here. He takes out one of my Pokemon. And just gets ripping into me, right? I mean, I could Sucker Punch it. 
I could go for the sucker punch into the actually I can't sucker punch god dang terrain man Okay Hurts my soul, so he pretty much gets off a free A free gambit here And I'm just gonna double down on Ndidi because we know Ndidi's going for trick room if I can just get rid of it That'd be big time But the smart play for him would just be the close combat instead of Instead of gambiting right? This is a very good lead for our opponent. Follow me just comes out here. Okay. So he's gonna close he's close combating somebody. As long as they're not setting up trick him, I can kinda get down with that. Lord Chop's gonna fly through. It does not pick up the KO. I really want that. Oh, and he does gambit. He does gambit. So actually I I'm a huge fan of that turn. That turn's huge for us. That turn is big time for us. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No trick him. Did not go for trick him. Follow me was the play. Alright, I'm cool with that. That's actually a really good turn from us. We get rid of two. We, get, we go for the two for one coupon there. We get the two for one coupon there. Uh, they do have Gambit, so I really do not want to bring Arcanine here to Defiant Boost. Or I just bring Sandy Shocks just in case. But we'll see who they want to go into. Armor's is definitely a possibility. And there it is. And now who's your final Pokemon going to be? Because he's going to try to set up Trick Room. It's going to be Torkoal. I could double down to armors here, right? I could double down to armors if I want to. Which I kind of really want to, right? I mean, Grass Terror is definitely an option. Ah, oh, this hurts. Grass Terror, I think, is the play. I think Grass Terrasalizes, right? We do have Bug Terrible. Ooh. I'm all bad. I'm gonna Kowtow Cleave into this thing. Just in case. Just in case he just stays around. But I think he Terrors in the grass. And he tries to go for a Trick Room. I think that's its play, right? Can we make the read? Can we make the read? Because this would be an amazing read. I probably should double down into... Uh, I probably should double down in armors, but I, I really do think he terrestrializes in the grass here and tries to pop trick room. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Dark. No. <laughs> we'll take that, though. I really want it to be grass. I really want it to be grass. But he terrestrializes in dark. That's fine. Terror Blast still flies out here. Terror Blast is still ripping. Still ripping, right? Still super effective? Yeah, okay, cool. That works. That works. I just wanted to be grass because it would have been a better read for us. It would have been a better read for us. I wasn't expecting dark. <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, that works. That works, but again, I really wanted to be grass. But come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Easy read right there. Flamethrower's gonna fly through. That's gonna KO the Gambo. Actually, yo, Gambit with the free Focus Sash. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Kowtow Cleave comes out here. A little bit of Thunderbolt action. Actually, Earth Power action. And our push can cancel. What a set of matches, yo. Absolutely crush it in today's video. 3-0. Another 3-0 perfect record on the channel. Love this team so much. We got out Sandy Shocks in that final battle. Terrasalize at the perfect time and just ripped into Arm Rouge. I was really hoping it would have been a grass, so we would have predicted it right away, but it's all good. We'll take that dark. Buck's still super effective on the dark, and we one-tap it regardless. But Warren Moon Sylveon, everybody else did really good on today's team. Again, perfect record. Can't really say anything bad about this team. The only Pokemon that we didn't get out here today was Mousehold, but it was kind of just there for support, and we really didn't need it. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.